Welcome to Documentation Office Hours. It's the 14th of April, 2022. Thanks for being here. So today's agenda topics, uh, I don't have anything on news, but we could list news and then crowd in enterprise was my single big topic and hope we could have Alex coach us through the process. Any other topics we need to put on the agenda for today? Okay, then let's go ahead. So I guess one item of news, the, uh, there's a proposal to delay LTS selection, LTS baseline selection and release by two weeks. Uh, it's being discussed in the developer list or no, in the UX SIG list and mentioned in the developer list. Thanks in advance to you, Alex, for your, your help on getting us ready to do a good LTS for this, this upcoming LTS baseline. All right, Crowd in Enterprise. So I received email from them. Hang on, I've got to show the email just to be sure that, that I'm doing the right thing, Alex. So where is it? Yes, here it says, okay, it says, Thanks for asking for a free open source li license. I encourage you to create your translation project and upload files that should be localized. Let us know when it's approved, created so we can approve your request. Okay, Alex, what do I do? Yeah, that sounds promising so far. I would start with clicking the link they sent you. It's, okay, good. So it's been like go. two years that I set up the instance for my project. So I hope I remember everything correctly. Oh, well, and, and I am confident you will, you will have forgotten more than I know. Therefore, mm -hmm. we'll, take, we'll take your condition. All right, so here we are. Uh, uh, let's see, and I should probably make it big enough to read. Can you read that? Yeah. Actually, in fact, that is the regular crowd in instance that is not crowd in enterprise. Oh, oh, okay. So, and we need crowd in enterprise? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean, we don't need it, but that's basically what we have been talking about the past three or four weeks. Okay. So be... should I then just reply to them saying, hey, we want to use Crowd in Enterprise because it's got the features we need for a project the size of Jenkins? Uh, let me open it myself real quick. Um, Crowd in Enterprise. Mm hmm. Open source. Yeah, because basically on the crowd, there's crowd and enterprise and the regular crowd and the crowd and enterprise is an entire own website, for example. So yeah, that would be quite a different process. Mm. Yeah, if you don't mind, I would share my screen real quick because I've just opened it in the meantime. Absolutely, okay. So let's see yours. Uh, that is this one. Yeah, because let's move. Uh, yeah, because that is basically how you request an open source license for Crowden. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this is what they sent you. Actually, this, this is the form that I completed. Uh, and I definitely did complete this one because I actually was worried about item number four here. You do not have any commercial yeah. projects, products related because CloudBees sells and Red Hat and several others actually sell commercial products that use Jenkins, but they said, no, that was not a problem. So this is definitely the page I submitted. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe we are missing out step one here. You have created a translation project and crowd in. Oh, oh, okay. All right, good. So what we need to do is create the project and then they'll promote us to enterprise? Maybe, yeah. I think I quite don't remember the process, but if they sent you the link and asked you to create a project, I was starting to go ahead with that. Okay, all right. Well, so then I'm going to switch back and steal back screen sharing and let's try this again. Okay, so... Here we are in create project. So Jenkins, a project with the same name already exists. Okay. I 
I mean, I can call it Jenkins CI. I assume they are case case sensitive and case insensitive. They are okay. So Jenkins CI public project. Now I don't know who has crowdin.com slash project slash Jenkins. No, that seems currently be unclaimed or not public because I can't ah, access okay. it. Ah, right. Okay, good. All right. So, so, but this one is a, is a valid name for, for the Jenkins project. So Jenkins CI, then yeah. source languages, English. If we say target languages, prefill, we go with prefill. top 30. Yeah. And then I can remove some because there are a number of these that I'm confident we don't have any translation in them. Uh, I don't know about Catalan. Okay, I'm going to guess not. Let them complain to me. Let's see, Danish, Dutch, Finnish. Yeah, but it doesn't matter much whether we select them or not. This is just the initial setup. They okay. might need to know who we are. All right. Okay. Good. So then let's let's go ahead and. Okay, I'm not aware of anyone translating in Vietnamese. Okay, so just do create project. Yeah. Okay. Okay, your trial expires in 14 days. Add files for, so, so now what's my next step? Uh, would you mind clicking on the settings tab, please? Settings there, right here, okay. Yeah, and scroll a bit down. A bit more. I'm actually looking for something that says that we are using current enterprise here or that they are. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, so shall we look for Okay. I don't see anything that says enterprise. Do you mind reopening the email for me very quick? Sure. Let's see. The email was right here. Okay. Ah, yeah. A bit above please let us know when a project is created so we can approve your request. So they basically ah. need a project initially created. And then they can approve it. And that then has the chance yeah. to grant us. Okay, so at this point, I just reply to them and say, we've created it. Yeah, we have created this and would like to have Jenkins.com, okay, for example. I will do that. Okay. So I've created the project at there oops uh, and we would like to use crowd in enterprise for the jenkins project okay anything else i need to say there no i don't think so and the a future setup where we someday would like might might choose to have crowdin.jenkins.io. That's something that happens separately. That doesn't really need their involvement. That's something we change in settings later. Yeah, that is something they create. I mean, basically they are sponsoring the license for us and hosting it for us, but we can basically create a CNAME record and point it to something else okay. under the Jenkins.io domain. Great, all right, so I've sent that. And we can ignore this. How did you hear about crowd in recommendation? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I just looked in my mails. In the meantime, I basically went through the same process. Okay, so you created your project, and then they they approved it and promoted promoted it to use crowd in enterprise. Yeah, I sent them the link to the project on the regular crowd instance and a mail later they sent me the crowd and enterprise url back great all right well so then that's that's very hopeful we may already get their response uh within a few minutes of of being here because at least yesterday they were very very rapid in their responses yeah i don't know the business hours but it's basically happened across three or two or three days for me so ah okay was, that all was right. even in may 2020 oh okay all right 
waiting for crowd in. Good. Okay. Well, so so we've made good progress then. That's that's great. So you okay if we take another topic while we're while uh, while we're waiting for that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So the Jenkins LTS two dot three three two dot three change log and upgrade guide. <laughs> okay. So Alex has asked in Gitter. Um, any volunteers to create it? Mark volunteered the docsig to create the upgrade guide or to create a change log and upgrade guide. And as far as I can tell, it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, simple release this time. So not a lot to write. Yeah, there are two DRI issues I would like to back part. James opened a PR a few hours ago for the CVE. Somebody filled, I think it was data binding or something. We upgraded. Yeah, Jackson data binding. And I guess that is going to be merged tomorrow. So can likely backport it tomorrow or by next week. Release candidate creation is scheduled for next week, Wednesday. So we have plenty of time to set that up. And Basil posted one issue on the mailing list. I think something about NPEs in the logging handler for invalid configuration entries or something. Yeah, and if you have a positive feedback that the PR merge is actually addressing the issue, I'm going ahead and backporting this one as well and adding it to the overview of addressed issues. Great. And so so this, this format is the perfect format for us because this is what we use to assemble the, the, the change log. So thanks very much for doing that. Um, I see that, thank you very much. Also, you removed the one or two entries, this one, and I think there was one other and you've, you've removed them both because they weren't needed in the packaging, right? They were already there. Yeah, for some reason, I think Ildefonso forgot or forget to remove the labels from the actual issues because they were already included in the dot two release. So yeah, uh, backpointing here wouldn't make any sense anymore. Got it. Okay. And that may have been me that may have missed that one. So thank you. That thanks for, for detecting that. That's I, I've got a checklist and sometimes I fail to follow the checklist for those those docs topics. Great. Thank you. Yeah, that's that that will likely be the final list. Maybe possible plus one or plus two issues adding up at and that's basically it. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much. So I haven't actually reviewed the changes yet. I've still got to do that. Therefore, you'll see I am not, I've not yet done the check, but I, I hope to do that today or tomorrow. And you're okay if this waits to merge until next week, or do you are you feeling like you want to get it merged sooner? Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to go ahead and, and merge it until next week. Great. Okay. Waiting at least for the confirmation of Basil's issue. If that is resolved and backported then. And James PR isn't even merged yet, so basically no rush here. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. All right. And then uh, no, as far as I can tell, there's no content, no content for the upgrade guide. I didn't see any of those things uh, that needed an upgrade guide, and that's that's rather common for a dot three release. So thank you. All right. Any other topics? I, I haven't received a reply from Crowdin yet, so I fear we may run out of run out of, of topics before we, we get their response. We can do it next week if that's okay with you, Basil. Or if, sorry, Alex. <laughs> I think he's not here at the moment, but yeah, he is I'm definitely fine with that. Not. Okay, great. And that's be that'll be recorded too. How shameful. <laughs> okay, great. Alex, thank you very much. If there's nothing else, then I think let's call it done for today, and we will check back in next week. Uh, if I'm if if I'm feeling pressed to get the crowd in work done much much sooner, I may ask you, Alex, to have a session with me where we we record it separately and just do it sometime early next week, depending on their availability. Yeah, let's see when they get back back to us. All right, thanks everybody.